Hey guys, Buttery Butters here, and uh, today I am bringing you a tutorial for Mountain Blade, specifically using Morgs Editor. Uh, you can find Morgs Editor in a link in the description, just download it, it's completely safe, I promise you. You may also notice I have Tweak MB here, I will not be covering that today. So, for starters, let's just open a Mountain Blade, and let's go to Native. As you can tell, I've got some mods installed, so I do apologize for that. Uh, you part of the screen will be cut off because of uh, Camtasia. That will be fixed. I will not be able to finish this tutorial in the time I have allotted because I have to go out soon. But I'll finish it once I get back. And we just have to wait for Mountain Blade. So just give that a quick second. And here comes Mountain Blade. Now I do have one save file already loaded. And yep. Yes, day two, and I've already got 222 men. I was cheating, okay? Get used to it. Okay, now, if we go into our party, you'd see the Swadian Knights. I don't believe you can actually, uh, see. yes, you can see their stats. See? These are the general Swadian Knight stats with his equipment and, you know, all the usual stuff. Now we get out of here, we go to character. You can see I've. I was just messing around for fun. It was really. It's really fun to have these kind of stats. But yeah, you normally wouldn't have these type of stats, but... Let's go into the inventory, and you can see I've got some general equipment. And one thing that always bugged me about Mountain Blade is that the best equipment wasn't very good. Like, that's why I like mods like uh, Prophecy of Pandora and such. And uh, I don't know why I'm getting lagged, probably because this is a uh, 1080p monitor and that's what I'm recording in. But anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to get out of here. And now we're going to open up Morgs. See, it will tell you immediately it can't load the TXT files. Please set up your module directory. Now, doing this is only for Warband, the module system, but I don't know anything about the module system, and to edit that, you need to know Python, which is a programming language. So, just go to your module directory. Now, assuming you didn't pirate the game and you got it through Steam, it will be in your program's files, which is 86 for a 64-bit computer. Then you scroll down to Steam. Where is Steam? There you are, Steam. Stop hiding on me. Next, Steam Apps. Common. And as you can see, these are the uh, ones I have through Steam. Gary's Mod, Final Fantasy VIII, Grand Theft Auto IV, Medieval II, Total War, Mountain Blade Warband, Civ V, Terraria, Rome II, Shogun II. Now you go to Mountain Blade. And as you can see, it's got a module section. These are your mods. And this is also where you'll find native. So... Assuming that you're not editing any mods, you just want to click on native and hit OK. And it will then save the configuration and it will go into here. It's not an official software from Tales World, their dis disclaimer is right there. And you want to be careful when using this because you can ruin your game potentially. So, as you can see, you can uh, edit troops, parties, party templates, factions, and items. We're going to start with items. And here is the item list, and you could scroll through all the items, uh, Step Charger, Serenade, Warhorse, Mail Boots, blah blah blah. Now in order to add an item, you have to select Add. Now let's say you want to uh, sort the items, you could just go through here and hit Go. It'll automatically filter all the items by one-handed weapons. It takes a bit of time, but there we go. Now, as you can see, these are all the one-handed weapons. So, what I'm going to do is edit the Nomad Saber. So, you select the Nomad Saber, and if you want to just edit it, you can edit any of these, but we want to create a new item. But first, I will show you how to edit it. So, you can see its cost is only 105. Let's boost that up to 500. Its abundance is how often it will appear in shops if it's labeled as merchandise. Let's bump that up to 110. Its speed, let's go ahead and bump that up to 105. Now, with a weapon length, unless it's a weapon you've created yourself, don't mess with it. Because the weapon lengths are determined largely by their sprites in-game. And if you make the weapon longer than it should be, it's going to be very disorienting to fight with it. Especially if you make it shorter than it should be. The weapon will pass right through enemies without touching them, so. And then you uh, can change the, the swing damage type between cut, pierce, and blunt and its thrust. Now, uh, sabers don't have a thrust, so they only have cuts. So let's edit this so that it's a 35 cutting damage weapon. It cannot be... These are the modifiers. You could change which modifiers it'll come with. I made it so that there are no negative modifiers. 
Now, these are the flags. For example, this is a one-handed weapon. That's what it's flagged as. If I wanted to change it to a two-handed weapon, I would do that. But I don't want that. And then over here, you could force attach. These are usually used for lances, so I don't touch these. Sorry about the little thing. I'm not feeling the best, so I'm not really feeling good right now. Wooden attack and wooden parry are for staves and lances, so you really don't need to touch those. Uh, I think the food one is bugged, because every time I label something as food, it doesn't show up as food. Can't reload on horseback. That's largely used for crossbows. Two-handed. Uh, primary, secondary. If you hit primary, secondary, two-handed, but flag it as a one-handed weapon, it'll become a bastard sword. A one-handed weapon or two-handed weapon. But usually then you would have to put like a penalty with shield. That's what bastard uh, swords have. If you could use one or two hands, there's almost always a penalty with shield. Bonuses against shield are almost exclusively for axes. Uh, let's see. Fit to head, offset lance, covers head and couchable. Those are both for lances. If you make a spear but and you don't click this button, it won't be couched when you uh, use that on horseback, so that's nice. Uh, crush through, crushes through blocks, largely used for warhammers. Covers beard is for helmets, and that's obviously always a very good thing. And as you can see, there's three modifiers for with fired and a sword. is pike, offset musket, and no blur. Uh, not going to touch those. And over here, the capabilities are actually really important. If I click this, the weapon will suddenly be able to thrust, but as you can see, I didn't change its damage, so I'm going to leave that alone. Overseeing, slash right, and slash left. Now, if you flag it as a two-handed weapon, you also need to click th the two-handed weapon capabilities. Now, for th uh, pole arms, like thrust, overswing, slash left, le slash right, those are used, obviously, for spears. And, um, you know, obvious. Shoot bow, shoot javelin, shoot crossbow, obviously, for each one of those. Throw stone, throw knife, throw axe, throw javelin. Shoot pistol, mask, and musket. I don't know what mask is, but pistol and musket are almost certainly with fire and sword. <clears throat> now, here are the horseback ones. If none of these are clicked, you can't use the weapon on horseback at all. So, yeah, you want to make sure these are clicked. And with lances, you could choose to thrust them one-handed and on horseback. You want to make sure those are uh, clicked. Now, this is where you choose where to carry it. If you, if it's a sword, you'll always be on the left hip. For daggers, you could choose where to... And for quivers, you could choose where to put it. And, yeah, all those are just where you carry it. You could choose to show the holster when it's drawn, which you usually want to do because that just makes it look nicer. You can't parry weapons if you don't have these set. So if you're planning on having a two-handed weapon, you have to make sure these are checked, or else... And if it's a bastard sword, you have to make sure that one-handed and two-handed are both checked. And for, uh, for example, if you use like a pole axe on a horse, if you can use it with a horse, you want to make sure slash pole arm is enabled. Oh man, it's starting to hurt my throat to keep talking this much. I really shouldn't have done this when I was sick. Okay, but in order for all those changes that you made to take effect, you need to hit update item. And as you can see, it updates it. And this is like the item's code that the TXT file has, which the game draws on. After that, you want to save your changes. Do you want to create a timestamp backup? You usually want to do that, so yes. So yeah, now that we've changed the way the Nomad Saber works, let's go ahead and see if we can find one. And I'll see you guys when it loads. All right, guys, we are back, and I just decided to quickly go into Mountain Blade to show you this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open the cheat menu so I can just quickly go grab the Nomad Sword. And then sheet menu, find item. I don't remember where it is, unfortunately, so I'm going to have to do some searching here. Let's see. That's not them. Oh, Jesus. Yep, those are all armors. It's been a while since I played native, so I don't remember what item IDs are what. Helmets, hammers, sickles, daggers. Swords. Nomad. No, it's an elite sand attire. Two-handed saber. Where is it? Heavy saber, saber, saber. Nomad saber. There we are. As you can see, because of my current trade skill, instead of being 500, the price is 650. Whereas the next one is the regular saber. It's uh, 350 cut, 105 speed, as opposed to 100, and then 28, respectively. So as you can see, it's about as good as my current balanced serenade guard sword, so... Now, what I have to do is I need to go out and do something with a friend of mine, 
But when we continue, I'll probably wind up e ending the video off here. When I continue, I will tell you how to edit troops and how to make those troops available to certain factions and, yeah, all that fun stuff. So, remember guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial, like and uh, comment. Let me know what I could or could not do better. Remember, I will have more tutorials up and running soon, so just sit tight and wait for the next one. Take care, guys.